Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to the fall or summer 2024 update from Gav's Weather Beat. So here we go again, time to bring you more summer data. We're up to update number four. Um, now, and um, it could be a QBO special, quasi biennial oscillation. And uh, I shall get on that for you in a moment, just to say that first. A video says our 6 said UK weather forecast. Uh, we're going to be live at 6 p.m. with your date 14 day, and uh, we'll have some long range in that, of course, as this is a Sunday live stream. Got to do some long range, so that'll be coming up at 6. If you've got any questions about this summer update, then um, please fire away at 6 p.m. I'll do my best to uh, answer that. Thank you so much, Richard, for our amazing summer updates, gear. Thank you so much, Richard. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Miss gift number one, of course. Got gift number two as well, but we showed you last week. And uh, thank you so much to Shrine as well, because this is based on uh, a Shrine and Bring uh, picture. So uh, thank you so much to, uh, to to Rich and to Shrine. Joint endeavour for our summer updates, gear. Yeah, thank you so much, both. Hashtag Team Gab, as always. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, thank you so much for sorting out the years for us as well. I can tell you that the uh, summer forecast is going to be released on Sunday the 26th of May, by the way. So uh, that is the date uh, for our summer forecast. Sunday the 26th of May. Put it in your diary. And, um, and yeah, so that's going to be an exciting day when we get to, uh, to release our... Uh, our summer forecast. Right, okay, so let's have a look at uh, the QBO then. So this is from NASA. This is showing uh, the levels of the atmosphere. Of course, we've got 10 HPA here, right at the top of the atmosphere and stratosphere. Troposphere is 30 to 50 HPA just there. So this blue green area that you see here is the latest phase of the eastern QBO. Excuse <coughs> me once more, everybody, the latest phase of the uh, east, latest easy phase required to be any oscillation is, but, is the way I should be describing that. Um, now, of course, we have had uh, an easy QBO ongoing since around the middle of last year with uh, the uh, easy QBO in the Chelsea. We see the next westerly QBO phase here lurking in the stratosphere, gradually being penetrated a little bit further down, but still sure of being 30 HPA. A boundary level. However, we think that by the summer, we will probably start to see this Western QBO beginning to uh, descend in towards the troposphere. So we think that the summer, uh, it's a little bit of a projection, but we think the summer of 2024 is likely to be a transitioning uh, west, uh, east to west QBO summer. So uh, it won't actually be a Western QBO summer, probably, at least not till the very end. But it might, you know, see but that transition from uh, from east to west. So it'll be quite interesting uh, summer if that comes off from a QBO perspective. So uh, we're going to be looking very simply at summers that have a transitioning east to west QBO. Starting off with the summer of 1957, and uh, this is a very unsettled summer. We've got a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, and there's a trough of uh, low pressure across. <coughs> oh dear, once again, everybody, so sorry. Um, there's a trough of low pressure across many, many parts of Europe there, indicating unsettled summer. It's a front load summer, so the uh, best of built weather in terms of dry, warm, actually quite hot conditions at times. Happens in the earlier part of the summer, the front part of the summer in uh, June. I think June 57 has the hottest day uh, of that summer. Um, and then deteriorates as the summer goes along and becomes cooler and wetter through July and August. We've got a summer of 1959 showing up next. Now, this is a proper warm, dry summer. Big area of high pressure across western and also non parts of Europe, low pressure is a way to the north. So this is a very extended summer. It begins in, in the spring. It begins in March and April. It's still ongoing into September and October. It's one of those long, long uh, summers. And through the summer itself, uh, a lot of dry and very warm weather. Not exceptionally warm, not exceptionally hot, but just consistently dry, warm, fine Often very warm and occasionally hot as well in the summer of 1959. 
We've got 1966 showing up next, which is also an east to west transitioning uh, QBO summer. This one with below average heights, low pressure away to the uh, east, above average heights in the Atlantic. Um, now, this is an unsettled summer, quite cool, quite wet in the summer of 1966. It does have some drier day, but overall it's a wet summer in a very wet year. We've got 1975 showing up next. Now, this is another uh, dry and actually hot summer with this one. Uh, you see a large area of uh, high pressure centred over the UK and uh, much of uh, Western Europe there. Now, this is the first of the two drought summers, of course. Have two hot, dry summers for 1975 and for 1976. This is the first one of the two. Um, and it does have a snow at the beginning of June, though, rather um, bizarrely. We, we have a snow event at the start of June 75. But once that's out of the way, the rest of the summer is, uh, is, is mostly dry, sunny, and, and warm or hot. And has a 18 Celsius CT August, so, so a very hot August there in 1975. 1982 has a little bit of higher pressure close to the country, but also low pressure is knocking around. So uh, the thing about 82 is that it, it starts very wet, actually. June 1982 is a very wet month, and then it uh, progresses drier as we go along. We've got sort of 1987, which is another east to west transitioning QBO summer. This one is uh, a rather cool and unsettled summer. Has high pressure in the Atlantic and low pressure is over and to the east of the country. Oh, the thing with uh, the summer of 1987 is that there's few dry and warm days here and there, but overall it's a pretty poor summer. And uh, it, it's within a period of very poor summers that starts with the summer of 1985 and ends with summer of 1988. It's like four really bad summers there in the middle of the 1980s. And uh, 87 is the third of the fourth. We've got, not if that makes sense, we've got 1992 with uh, lower pressure away to the north and also to the west. High pressure over eastern parts of Europe. This is a classic front loaded summer. So this has lots of dry, warm, fine weather through May and June of 92. July sees a deterioration, culminating in a cool and wet August. Classic front-loaded summer. Quite a long gap then. Uh, the next time we have an east to west transitioning QBO summer is uh, 2010. This also a front-loaded summer, so maybe there is a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of front-loadedness about uh, some of these uh, summers. This is another front-loaded summer again, a uh, mid-Atlantic ridge. Um, I'm going to try through here. It's not long, but doesn't tell you a great deal about the summer overall, to be honest. So it uh, has a very dry and uh, often very warm June, July. That goes on into the beginning of July. Then after the first week of July. A, de a deterioration, culminating again in a cool and very wet August in 2010. 2015 is an unsettled summer, often um, pretty poor, low pressure from the Atlantic into West Europe. does have higher pressure across Europe. It's a very warm summer for Southern Europe. But there's one really, although it's overall quite a cool uh, and unsettled summer, there is one really big heat spike that occurs at the beginning of July, the first day of July, sees intense heat push up from the south just for one day, but it's swept away, and the rest of the summer overall in 2015 is uh, quite cool and unsettled. And then finally, we've got 2022. So the last time we had an east to west transitioning QO summer was only 2022. And of course, this is a long, hot summer, as we know, with high pressure out in the Atlantic, reaching into western and also northern parts of uh, Europe. So that summer, uh, of course, reaches 40 degrees in the middle of July, and we get our first 18 Celsius CT August since um, 2003. Our first 18 Celsius CT August for nearly 20 years is achieved in the summer of 2022. A long, hot, dry summer, that one. Okay, so let's put all of that together then. We saw all June's combined are looking where we have the QBO transitioning from its east to west phase during uh, the summer. Overall, an anticyclonic signal for those uh, Junes. Higher pressure tending to be over the UK. Lower pressure is away to the south. All July's combined when we have an east to west transitioning QBO summer. Again, it's an anticyclonic signal. High pressure 
perhaps a little bit more towards our west, so possibly a slightly more, I wouldn't necessarily say unsound, but perhaps a slightly more showery type um, pattern there in the July's, perhaps indicating a little bit of a breakdown. And then all August combined, when we have the tra QBO transition from east to west during the summer, not like that, much more mixed, much more unset with low pressure appearing across the north and west of Europe. So it seems to be favouring a front-loaded summer uh, here of when, when we're going from the um, east to the west phase of the QBO. And that's how all summers combined are looking. Probably an analogue that doesn't tell you a great deal. So overall, higher pressure is close to the country. But bear in mind, the, the strongest signal for, uh, for the anticyclone to be centred over us is in June. August, it starts to move, pulls out to our west, so it starts to turn a little bit more showering. And then by July, actually, we're in, we're under low, by August, I should say, we're under low pressure. There will be years where they're uh, kind of deviating to that. For example, we've got 1975 in the mix. That's a very hot and dry August, uh, for example. So this is just where we put all of the years together. But as ever, you will get deviations. Uh, now, the other thing we can look at with this is whether the transition begins early in the summer or later in the summer. So we can do that as well. So for the early transitioning uh, years, going from um, east to west with the QBO, and that is 1957, 1959, 1966, 1975, 2015, 2022, so the majority of them, um, then we see for all Junes combined, we have high pressure still centred over the top of the UK and I also a, a dry, warm anti-cyclone anti signal for the June. July's again, the high pressure moves, goes on the moon, pulls out into the Atlantic. Uh, so you start to set a jet stream on the north by south, it's like looking more showery at the very least there. But interestingly, the August, we see the high pressure beginning to fight back and actually sort of reappears over the top of Northern and also Western Europe as well. So that was a little bit surprising how that came out um, when we have a bit, an early transition for the QBO. We have got 2022 in the mix with that and 1975, so perhaps it shouldn't be a surprise, and 1959 as well, perhaps it shouldn't be a surprise that uh, that is how that comes out. And this is how all summers combined are looking when the uh, QBO transitions early in the summer from its east to its west phase, and again, Quite an anti cyclone to see. What, have, what about if it happens late? So, this is how late transitioning east to west QBO summers look or June combined, which is 1982, 1987, 1992, and 2010. This could be a much more unsettled, um, uh, 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 unsettled um, grouping, I would have thought. We'll see. Um, or June combined shows high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south. So, still an anti cyclonic signal for the June, but the low pressure. Could be uh, bring some rain into southern parts of the country. 1982, of course, was a very wet June, so that could be skewing things a little bit. Oh, July's combined, still anti cyclonic with the higher pressure through Western Europe. But what about August? Look at what happens in August when we have a late transition from the east to west phase of QBO and a very wet signal for those uh, August then. Uh, very unsettled. So implies front-loaded summer with most of those uh, years, which we know, of course, um, for example, 92 and 2010, where I think 87 was a little bit as well, not the case for 1982, though. And finally, this is how all summers combined are looking when we have a late transitioning east to west uh, QBO phase. Uh, or phases with uh, below average heights across the north and west Europe, high pressure out to the Atlantic. Remember, that's primarily down to August, though. June and July both have a more anti cyclonic look and signal. So, uh, there we go. That's your fourth summer update. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so, so much to subscribe, Brian, for sorting out all those, year, all those years. And thank you so much, Richard, for our amazing summer updates, gift number one, based on a uh, Shrine uh, photo as well. So thank you so much, hashtag TeamGav, for all of the help on this and all of our summer updates.
Now, it's not going to be a summer update next week, because next week is Easter Sunday. So, we're going to do Solar Sunday on Easter Sunday next week. That's going to be exciting. We only do, like, one Solar Sunday a year normally. Um, and this year is going to be on Easter Day, Easter Sunday. So, um, the summer updates will return probably a week after that. But I am planning to have a weekend in Manchester as well, some point in uh, April. So, uh, we might have, like, a couple of weeks delay on the on the fifth summer update but summer updates will resume in april and um and i would imagine with that we will be looking at march data for the next summer update right so going to be live at 6 p.m i'm looking forward to uh seeing you all a little bit later on again if you've got any questions about this summer update then please fire away on the live stream We'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 day, and within that, we will include some long ranges. It's a Sunday live stream, got to do that. So, uh, I shall see you at 6 pm. But for the full summer 2024 update, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.